and make sure you leave a comments below so I know uh, the Alma brother and sister, my sister who are watching these videos, uh, either your brother or sister so that I can continue to make this type of video because then I know there are audience who are watching this type of video or the more beautiful family writer that they want my help because I dedicate the time just to give it knowledge, free knowledge. Hey, look, listen, man. Uh, it's very, very important for you to follow me on my Instagram, mtwana underscore wabantu. Mtwana underscore wabantu, small letter. Also, if you have an equity, you can email me simply by writing mtwana wabantu at gmail.com. Mtwana wabantu at gmail.com, small letter. And hey, why you have to follow me on Instagram? Because I have a feeding program. Uh, on my Instagram where you can see why we give that to our brother and sister the knowledge to be specific because when you equip your brother and sister with the knowledge not only food which we do in that program of feeding homeless see and uh children especially children homeless adult elder and children because once you feed brother and sister then equip that brother and sister or sister with the knowledge because when he has the skill or she has the skills means then they can sustain themselves they can help themselves and the family you see what i'm saying so i equip them with the coding skill programming skills and also soft skills like microsoft uh excel uh stuff like that inspiration as well so they can give them help because once the mentor is being distracted or corrupted or or something wrong or corrupted then it becomes problem so we kind of store the help so they can be in the right form now we have a question right here so before I start to solve this question, I want to explain something very crucial. They say which of the following, uh, uh, which of the following is the solution uh, of that? So now face and foremost, oh, put it there, put it right like that. Now let me take a face uh, to how do you know the question has a many solution, infinite many solution, or has no solution, or it have infinite many solution, or inconsistent. Let me take it there because we got a couple of questions. We have that. Also, we have this. You see, they ask here if the solution has a one solution or exactly one solution. So, when I explain to, to you this type of question or the concept, so that you can be able to do by yourself. Now, let's assume how do you know the, the, the metric has no solution? Let's say somebody has given you this system of equation. So, this system of equation can be written, it's not part of the equation I'm explaining to you, can be written as augmented matrix augmented metric so how do you write augmented metrics you start by saying you write line like that how many x is one don't write the x y whatever how many y y is just a one instead they means they say one and here is two so you put that 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 and then still you write after this that 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 or let me use a black pen here that's how you write your system equation into augmented metrics something something like that and here's two the next one Okay, this could be one. No, no, x, there's nothing x here, so we're gonna say zero, and y, y equal to one, and this dead equal to negative three. And right here equal to one, right one. The last one, x equal to two, y equal to one, and z equal to five. See what I'm saying? And this is equal to zero. So this is augmented matrix, but it is not reduced. So I'm not gonna do reduce uh matrix in augmented form, you see, to to to, to reduce by using raw operation. But I have a special video for that. I'm going to attack the link below. How to reduce matrix to. From given matrix to augmented. And then you go to the reduced matrix. How to do that? The link is going to be below. But for now, if you have that, if you reduce, this is how it's going to become for this case. So if you have reduced your matrix and all these number at the bottom, if it's 0, 0, 0, and then equal to 3, means there's no solution. You see what I'm saying? Because you know what that means? Because this one here, remember Z, X, Y, Z. So the last one is Z. It's like, say, 0, Z equal to negative 3. There's no solution of that. That's impossible because if you divide by 0, divide by 0, this and this cancel. Look, Z, negative 3 divided by 0 means it's undefined. It means in other way, no solution. So whenever you have your matrix and you reduce it, matrix, you put in augmented form and then you reduce using the raw operation, which is under the link below for you to practice and learn. And then if it happened that in the incident, your final answer at the bottom is like zero, zero, zero. And then here there's a number 
then for that case, you say there's no solution. So now we know the matrix is not going to have a solution if it's 0, 0, 0, 0. You understand? And here must be a number. That's no solution. Okay. Now, another way also, another thing also you can say, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me explain something very important here. And when you say no solution, there's another word that we use. is say inconsistence. Inconsistence means no solution. So when you say here, let's come back here. I hope you can see. So now, now, now. Excuse me. So here, when you say no solution, in other words, you can say this is inconsistent. That's another way of saying inconsistent. Okay. Now, what happens when you say there's a solution? For example, this one. How are you going to say this? This is no solution, even this one, because look, you have a zero after you have reduced the matrix here. They give you mat matrix here. And now for this case, this question here, they have done by the raw operation. Like I say, I'm not going to do a raw operation now because it's not part of the question. They did all the raw operation, but the link is below. You can go watch on the other video on the link below. And then finally, you see the got zero, 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 and here, number negative three. So we say this is not, there is no solution. Or you can see that's so we say no solution. Or you can say what well, this is inconsistent. Solution means no solution. Now let's come to the question here. Oh no, no, before we go to the question, be, before, before, I need to explain something more. I need to explain something more. I need to explain something more. Okay, I need to explain something more. Okay. Now also it happened that look like here, look. It can happen, you have a zero, zero, and then here you have a number, and here a number. Or even if there's nothing, as long as there's something, only one here. And then this is only a unique solution. What does that mean you say unique solution? Look, remember, these are x, y, z. So here is going to be one z equal to negative one. So our z equal to negative one. That's why we say this z equal to negative one. How are you going to get y? Look, this is x, y, z. So here we only have a y. What is a y? One y n minus 5 5 z equal to 8 now we go what is that the z equal to 1 means i can say 1 y minus uh okay okay i think so so minus 1 sorry minus 1 so minus 5 times minus 1 is going to be positive 5 equal to 8 we take 5 over so y equal to 3 that's what we say y equal to 3 here let's go for a face so it means this is going to be x x 1 x plus 1 y because this is going to be 1 y what is a y y equal to 3 1 1 times 3 equal to 3 minus minus 1 times z what is a z z we already had equal to negative 1 now let's go x but equal equal to 5 equal to 5 now let's put them together x 3 uh minus minus going to be positive which is going to be four uh, uh it's going to be positive 4 equal to 5 and then we take over so x equal to 1 that's what i say x equal to 1 there but so if you have in this situation so i don't want to solve uh, like solve everything if you have in a situation where here at the bottom there's a zero zero and here there's a number and they say there's a unique solution you know why unique solution because have a, you have x you have a y you have a z so it's called a unique solution now so now we know unique solution must everything must be there and when you say no solution or inconsistency means all the bottom must be zero except the last one like i say this is inconsistency means uh, right here you see zero zero like right here say zero 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 and this one it can be anything okay now let's go for the last one i'm sorry i'm sorry all right okay so this is a infinity infinity t infinity solution infinity solution is when the situation everything is zero 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 at the bottom and this infinity many solution so they give you a matrix, you know how to arrange the rearrange. This is x equal to negative three, negative three, negative five, look negative five, there is six, and this is ten. You put dot dot to write ten. The next one, x equal to negative one, they write negative one here. So there's no y here, that's why you say zero y. Uh this is gonna be z and the last one is five. Now the last one, x equal to one, there's a one here, y equal to one, y equal to one, z equal to negative ten, negative ten, and this is gonna be negative four, negative four. They reduce how to reduce the steps under the link below. I've got some video that I've already done in the past you can click the link below okay and then finally after they reduce using the reduce raw operation to me they get there 
So if everything is zero, 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 how you say infinity of many solution? So now let's go and see from our question how we can compare that. So if you can look here, we see everything's here is zero, zero. So they didn't give like the whole matrix, everything, but what they did is like they give you the last row. Means this is like the bottom row, like, oh, uh, sorry, sorry. It's like, let's say you had our matrix, we had information, information, information. But here at the bottom is like zero X and zero Y. Let's do like this. It's like they didn't write everything, they just give in a tricky way. Dot, 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 and here is zeros. So how are you gonna say? We know this infinity many solution. So for that case, this is gonna be the last option. Option number four, question three, option number four. Now, oh, before this, we have a question right here. I'll skip the question, I'm sorry. Okay, we have a question right here. So look, if you have a uh, two by two matrix, but remember this is augmented, what augmented? Matrix. So now, look, if you have a matrix, right? Let's say you got something, let's say you have something like this. Let's say, uh, let's say you got one, and they got three, and they got one, and they, let's say you got, Oh, I'm just saying something. And here is one, and then say zero. Okay, just roughly, but at least not means that it has to be accurate. Okay, means you might try. Oh, well, it's not making no sense. I'm just giving from random number. Okay. Now, when you multiply these two, it's going to be one times four, and this and this is going to be three times one. Okay. So we know for fact these stuff are not equal. So when they're not equal, then we, ne we say this system here, the system has, a, has exactly one solution. So the system has exactly one solution when, when you multiply this is not equal to the means has exactly one solution. When they're not equal, those two things has exactly one solution. And what happened when they're equal? When they're equal, the system has no solution when they're equal. So now let, let, let's check here now. Let's check to the actual example which they have given to us now. So we're gonna say a times d is gonna be a e. Now, if it's equal, okay. When they okay. Now we say a e, a e, and then now let's multiply this gonna be b d. So what happened when these stuff are not equal to each other? And then we know the system has exactly one solution when they're not equal. When they're not equal. So for this case here, this is going to be correct. The system has exactly one solution whenever AE means we multiply that one is not equal to BD. Like a good example, if somebody gives, let's say, one, three, one, four, let's say, two, one, I'm just giving random. But this does not mean the number must be accurate. Means it's gonna give like actual calculation. If you multiply this, it's gonna give you 28. You know, 28 is not equal to 3 times 1, which is 3. So for that case now, then this system has exactly one solution, but it does. Okay, this is just a random number picking up. But you can pick up, for example, just go to Google some source state system of 2 by 2 have exactly one solution. And then you can test. And then you're gonna realize if you multiply the, like, say, whichever which is here times this is always not equal to this time there for this case is seven uh equal to seven times 28 or seven times this you understand what I'm saying? so remember that so when or in which situation the system has no solution because you can see this is a similar matrix this one and that one whenever in an incident whereby when they're equal like ae Means when you multiply this two equal to when you multiply that one BD, and then you say this system has a has no solution, has no solution, has no solution. When they are equal, there has no solution. See what I'm saying? So here is going to be the option four, and this question here is going to be option number two has no solution when AE equal to that one. It means there's no solution. So this, for me, my opinion, I'll pick that to the answer. And here, I'm gonna say the system has exactly one solution whenever AE is not equal to BD. So it is funny, right? When it's equal, has no solution. When they're not equal, have exactly one solution. So this is gonna be my answer here. And this could be my answer here. 
Not a sick. If y'all want to reach out, how do we pronounce your name? Let me try. Wait, let me try. Um, Okay. 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 Watch it here. You know, they can learn from me that, you know, relationship uh, is very, very important. And, you know, sometimes don't look about today. You might scam somebody maybe one dollar, but you don't know who that person is. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, this is the thing, too, uh, that. Um, for many a years, I've always been that person to try to link, hook up, pass on, or help people because I used to know a lot of people, right? Uri, uwe tuse, fitoka tuse ya hako mista, mito na wabanti kele buha. Everyone, my name is Tiko. The reason why I'm doing this video is because of mito na wabanti. It's because of the help of mito na wabanti. Umtana Wabantu is a nice guy who helps people like me who don't afford to reach out. And that's exactly what you're saying is that, you know, these people who are scammers and try to get over on people, and, and, and all they're doing is living from there. Oh, is that Mike? Is that, hold on, it looks like, some, what's your name, bro, at the bottom right? Matwani, Matwana. Matwana. Right? Matwana. Matwana. I don't know how to say it. I apologize. My mic was muted. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. What's up, okay. y'all? <laughs> Not much cold. <laughs> hey, man, I watch you all the time. I just want to give my, uh, my thanks to you, man. Cause uh, me and my lady, my lady. You said kind of get <laughs> I know mm -hmm. a lot of people to make your transition ease, if you know what I'm saying. That's what you said, kind of gangster when you said that. I don't know, I don't know. How to say. I'm just joking. No, I really do appreciate that. I really do. Thank you so much. Is it a thing? So, I thought of talk summer, you know, to especially.